Explorer, what spiffing good luck. Maybe you can help me. I say, where did are you going? Ah, there you are, as I was saying. Ah, a fellow explorer, what spiffing good luck. Maybe you can help me. I say, what's that you have there? That handwriting, surely it can't be. Give me here! Grandmother, I should have known. My name is Charles. Charles! And I'm a very brave adventurer myself. Oh, she does make my blood boil. How would you like some old woman telling you what to do all the time? Still, you don't seem like such a bad egg. Uh, perchance you could lend us a hand opening this bother of a chest. Every time I get close, a band of those undead blighters shows up, ready to tear me limb from bally limb. Be a good chum, and keep the beastly coves off me, will you? Soon as I start on the chest, the rotting rotters will start their dismembering japes. Just keep them off me while I work my magic on the lock. Isn't this exciting?
Gosh, I didn't see that coming, I must say.
my Jingo, we made it! Charlie, you naughty little imp, scaring your dear old grandma like that. How many times do I have to tell you, don't go where Granny can't see you? Oh, Gran! Don't oh, Gran me. I don't think you deserve your birthday present this year. In fact, I think your rescuer should have it. It's the only way children learn. Thank you for bringing Charlie back, brave, gallant adventurer. I'm an adventurer, Gran, and my name is Charles. Charles! It isn't polite to shout, dear. Now let's go home and have a nice cup of tea. You are now famous enough to use the kiss my ass expression. Oh, fearmonger. Uh, um, you sure can... I've been told you should be young again. Dog. Have you, Have you tried this stuff? I've got to make enough gold for my drink. What are you? Have you had me? There's a dog over there. I'll sing you a song if you let me play on credit. You better be spending some gold. Nice buying off. Cup. Nice buying off ya. Nice buying. It. Come back when. Nice buying off ya. Ah, you're back. I've transformed your late. You found the old dead sea dog. I, I knew you would, brave lass. Finished him off for good and stole his ship too. <laughs> the Marianne. Never thought I'd see her and count myself living. Aye, you'll be a legend among pirates for this, you will. And you proved Salty Jack ain't gone soft in the head yet. I can go back to my port without fear of ridicule. I thank ye.
What you after? Would you like a private party? It's closing time for all shops. We must continue our efforts regardless, Sister Beverly. But they seem so fruitless at times, Brother Toby. We will transform this lawless town. All it takes is a little faith. We could use some help, too. You speak the truth, sister. Indeed you do. It is clear that we must cleanse this town of the infamous Silver Serpent. But how? They're so powerful, and they've stolen so many holy pieces from our temple. I know, I know, and yet we have to find a way. I don't know. Sometimes I think we'll never bring peace to this terrible city. With courage, persistence, and faith, we will do it. We will wash away all evil from this cesspool. It's a shame that yodeling didn't succeed in changing the hearts of the people in this city, Brother Toby. We must adapt our methods if we are to save the world, Sister Beverly. Welcome, stranger. You are not a native blood stoner, are you? And yet, you have no doubt noticed what a corrupt and sinful place it is. I am Toby of T-O-B-Y, the Temple of Benevolent Yokels. I am on a mission to turn this town into as peaceful and rustic a land as Bowerstone or Oakfield. Will you help us bring order to this lair of wickedness? T-O-B-Y blesses you, my friend. I will tell you of the grave conspiracy that has sunk Bloodstone into the anarchic pit it finds itself in today. But not before you recover the first of the holy pieces needed for the rite of cleansing. It is the mutton of eternal hope. I sense it has been concealed in a house on the waterfront above the tattoo parlour. I could smell its deliciously sacred juices as I passed it yesterday. Now go and may benevolent yokels guide your hand. Want some company? If it's the brothel you're looking for, you got the wrong place. Please leave. I would really appreciate it if you left. Have a go, then. Here in town. Whoa. 
Wonderful. You have retrieved the mutton of eternal hope. You are a deserving member of T.O.B.Y. It is time I told you the reason for this city's chaotic state. Forget about Reva. Bloodstone is ruled by a secret organization known as the Silver Serpent. I will tell you more soon. But first, you must recover the second of the stolen holy ritual pieces. It is the Wine of Forgiveness. I sense it is hidden in a nearby house. I see two barrels and a cart outside. Turn left when you leave and go up the street. Get a kick out of scaring people, do you fear monger? The time is... Hey! It is now officially bedtime! <laughs> oh. Like what you say? You like bad boys? Incredible. Games aren't Would you just like for losers. A private party. Whoa. Title. 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 What you have? All right. Yeah. Thanks. Wanna go back to my place? Go on. This is why this is my favourite place. Anything else for you? Take a pump. It's fun. I like what I see. People staring at you and just. You're making me queasy. Surely you can spare a bit of change. You hit a shot. Let me take you to paradise. Need a title. How about a nice tie? Oi, them's fighting movements.
Would you like a private? Excellent. Soon I will be able to perform the ritual and destroy the Silver Serpent Gang, thus paving the way for our benevolent Yokel Crusade. Like the other holy pieces, the next item appears to be a mundane object, yet has remarkable power. It is the Sacred Pie of Kindness. I sense it is being kept in a house next to the boathouse. Just let your nose guide you. Shall we go somewhere private? Hello, Fearmonger. The shops are now closed. It's closing time for all shops. I could bend a tug on my arse, and you'd still be pointing your shoe. Oh, you feeling low? Ah, yes. Thank you. A million times, thank you. We will clean up this city, after all. In fact, before we gather the final items for the ritual of cleansing, I have an important mission for you. One that will begin the purge at once.
It has come to my attention that certain poor people are forced to walk the streets, selling their flesh in the most sinful way. Bring me one such lost soul that I may show her the error of her ways. Would you like to see more of me? There haven't been many people in history as famous as you are. Ooh, how exciting. Sure thing, Pat. Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. This poor woman needs my full attention. Now, if you'll just leave us alone, I'll call you when you're needed again. <laughs> 